We've got a studio full of really smart kids. Nosy the know-it-all dog is around here somewhere. I'm Father Reed, and this is... <laughs> the Catholic TV Challenge. Welcome everyone to the game show where the kids are the teachers. So, let's meet our first set of contestants. Mr. Nelson, could you introduce them to us, please? Father Reed, another show and another quality group of contestants. We begin on with our first contestant, and it's Arush Patnala. Arush enjoys the beauty of nature, and sometimes when he takes a break from nature, he loves playing video games. He also really likes dinosaurs. And our second contestant is Sahil Gupta. Sahil loves skateboarding. He also loves sports. Two of his favorites are football and baseball. And our third contestant is Erin Sanford. Erin loves dogs. One of her favorite subjects in school is art. And when she has some spare time, she likes to draw. And those are our three contestants for this round of WOW! The Catholic TV Challenge! The crowd is happy, Aaron Sahil Arush. The crowd is happy that you've stepped up to be our first set of contestants. Aaron, how are you doing this fine day? Good. It's great to see you. Now, as a dog lover, um, how do you feel about... Oh, you haven't actually met him yet. Wait till you meet Nosy, the know-it-all dog. I think you might like him. And Sahil, your, fir your, your, your favorite professional baseball team? Uh, Yankees. Really? Hey, Sahil, that didn't go over well with the crowd, but that's okay because it's a free country. And you can like anyone, any baseball team you like. Arush, how you doing over there? Good. It's good to see you way over there. Are you uh, nervous at all? Or are you, nope. You're doing well. You love nature, too. Yeah. Well, this show is very natural. It's very natural. All you do is you keep your hands by your side, naturally speaking. And then I naturally ask the questions. And then you naturally get the answers correct. But listen to the whole question. If you think you know the answer, hit the red button in front of you. And like I say, if you get it correct, great. But if you don't get it right, it's not a big deal. It's not the end of the world. You know what I'm saying? I don't think. Yeah. All right. So uh, if that's all right with the three of you, what we need now is a what about? A what about? And I am going to turn, Aaron, to that famous dog, that know-it-all dog, Nosy, to tell us what our what about is. Nosy? Hello, Father Reed. Hello, boys and girls. My name is Nosy, I am the know-it-all dog, and I happen to know what today's what about is. Are you ready? Today's what about is the passion of Christ. The passion of Christ. Have fun and good luck. Have fun and good luck, he says. What accent is that? Like, what, what nationality? What country is he? Anyway, our what about is the passion of Christ? Aaron, Sahil, Arush, if you are ready. Studio audience, you ready? Yeah! Well, then, we're going to set the wow watch, and I have the first question for you. Listen to the entire question. Passion comes from the Latin word passio, meaning... Sahil? Suffering? That's correct. There could be someone suffering in our TV audience right now, and I hope this show is putting a smile on their face. Wouldn't that be great? Okay, <clears throat> I'm going to test your Latin. Translate this, your Latin. Ecce lignum crucis. Aaron? Behold the wood of the cross. Correct! <laughs> Very good with that Latin. That actually comes from the Liturgy of the Lord's Passion, Good Friday, when... The cross is brought in by the deacon. The deacon sings, Ecce lignum crucis. Behold the wood of the cross. Now, when did the Passion of Christ begin? At the, at the end of the Last Supper. Correct! 
And from there, the upper room where the Last Supper was held, the Passover meal, Jesus and his disciples went across the valley over to the Mount of Olives. Now, when did the Passion of Jesus end? Aaron? At Jesus' burial. Correct! Good, very good. All right, now, for Catholics, there's a devotion that goes through all the year about the Passion. What is that devotion called? Is that here? Um, Stations of the Cross? Correct! <laughs> yeah. And a lot of Catholic churches, you see the stations all along, usually the walls of the church. So you can go from station to station. It all began in the Holy Land many, many centuries ago. How many Stations of the Cross are there? Aaron? Fourteen. Fourteen is right! <laughs> Okay, here's a question for the three of you. Arush, Sahil, Aaron. What claim of Jesus led to the Passion? Aaron? He claimed that he was God's son. He did, and you're correct. <laughs> the son of the living God, that was his claim. Okay, now in Jesus' time, what was the typical death penalty like? Arush? Perfection. Correct! <laughs> And I'm going to tell you something. The Romans, who, who had control of that area of the world at the time, they had it down to a science, a torturous way to die. And how were the criminals usually hung? A roof? They were tied to it. Correct! <laughs> That's right. Usually the criminals were tied, but not Jesus. How was he attached? Aaron? He was nailed. He was nailed to the cross. That's right! Hands and feet. Ooh, we are out of time. You guys and gal were just fantastic. Thank you so much. But I do have the, um, what is known as the official WOW t-shirt. Give you a look at it right there. And I'm, I'm going to give it to the young lady right here, Erin. Congratulations. But all three of you are fantastic. <laughs> Sahil, Arush, and Erin, thank you so much for being our first set of contestants. We're going to take a quick break, but don't go away. There's more of WOW to come. Stay with us. You have just seen our first group of contestants, and here's your first round winner. Coming up, our next three contestants will vie for the second spot in the final challenge when WOW! The Catholic TV Challenge continues. It looks like we've got the new shows packed up for Catholic TV. Help me check the box. Sure, Fred. Did you include the Bible stories? Check. We've got lots of Bible stories. How about Susie's craft projects? Yup. All cool stuff Susie makes is in there. And the songs and jokes? Got them. Each episode has <laughs> plenty of songs and jokes. Oh, and what about the cow? Oh, the cow! Creative family fun. Great family values. Hmm, I think we're going to need a bigger box. <laughs> Welcome back to WOW, the Catholic TV Challenge. It's round two, and it's ladies' round. Mr. Nelson, could you introduce the three young ladies to us? Four terrific contestants standing by. Father Reed, our first contestant for this round is Zoe Enos. <laughs> Zoe loves cheerleading. She also loves tumbling, and she has a real fondness for guinea pigs. And our second contestant is Caitlin Smith. Caitlin's favorite subjects in school are art and science. She also enjoys dancing and diving. And our third contestant is Julia Stiles. <laughs> Julia loves swimming. Her other favorite sport is softball. And when she has the time, she loves reading. And those are our three contestants for this round of WOW! The Catholic TV Challenge. You three are marvelous, I can tell. Brilliant, spectacular, beautiful in all of your glory here as our second set of contestants, Zoe, Caitlin, Julia. Thank you so much for stepping up and having the courage to be on WOW! The Catholic TV Challenge. Of course, today's What About is the Passion of Christ. That's the thing we're talking about. And I'm going to ask some questions because that's my job, but you get to answer them. So please do keep your hands by your side. And if you think you know the answer after I have finished the question completely. Hit the red button in front of you. If you get it right, great. 
If you don't get it right, we'll just move on. It's no big deal. Sound good? Mm -hmm. Great. Okay, studio audience, uh, are you all set for this? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I presume you are already out there in TV land, so without further ado, let's set the wah watch. And I have the first question. Listen to the entire question. Where did Jesus pray before he was arrested? Julia? The, the Garden of Gethsemane. That's correct. <laughs> yep, the Garden of Gethsemane. Yep. So, he goes there with his apostles, and while he was praying, what happened? Sorry. They fell asleep. They fell asleep, that's right. It's like, thanks a lot, you know? His darkest hour, Jesus' darkest hour, and his best friends fall asleep on him. It happens, though. It's part of being human. None of us are perfect. But Jesus is perfectly perfect. And he gave his life for us. And as he prayed in the garden, his sweat became like... Julia! Drops of blood. Drops of blood is right! <laughs> okay, now I love these kinds of questions. This is going to come right from the Gospels. It's one of these finish this sentence, finish this quotation questions. I begin, see if you can finish it. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is... Zoe. Weak is right! That is what Jesus said about his friends who fell asleep there in the Garden of Gethsemane. <clears throat> now, uh, which of the disciples betrayed Jesus? Julia. Judas. Judas is right. <laughs> Judas Iscariot, one of Jesus' friends, supposedly. Okay, so... Jesus and his disciples had the Last Supper in the what we know as the Upper Room. And then they traveled uh, to the Garden of Gethsemane through what valley? Julia? The Kidron Valley. The Kidron Valley is correct. <laughs> and Kate, Zoe, Julia, there's actually a stairway made out of stones built by the Romans that's still there to this day, and that was probably the very place where Jesus and his disciples walked. Now, here's a question for you. Caitlin, Zoe, Julia, what did Judas receive for handing over Jesus? Julia. 30 pieces of silver. That's correct. <laughs> it's about 11 ounces of silver. Today, if you were to cash that in, it would be about $330. Imagine handing over your friend for 330 bucks. And what was the sign that Jesus, Judas used to betray? A kiss. A kiss is right. <laughs> that might seem odd to us, but in the day, it was like, a, like an embrace, a hug. We're all out of time. Caitlin, Zoe, so great to have you on the show. I do have um, the official WOW t-shirt. Put Julia right over here. Let me just try that on. Oh, that's great. But the three of you were great. And we're going to take a quick break and we're going to have another set of contestants right after this. So don't go away. We have our second contestant for the final round, and we have three more contestants ready to play for the final spot in the final challenge. Stay with us as WOW! The Catholic TV Challenge continues in just a moment. Like Catholic TV on Facebook. Once you're there, you can join in on discussions, make friends with other Catholic TV fans, watch behind-the-scenes videos from the studio, see one, two, two, and stay up to date with the Catholic world. All this at Facebook.com slash Catholic TV. Welcome back to Well, the Catholic TV Challenge. We have a new set of contestants, three wonderful young women, 
And you're going to meet them right now because Mr. Nelson is going to introduce them to us. All right, Father Reed, our next three contestants for this round. Our first contestant is Ann Titus. <laughs> Ann really loves to swim. She also is an avid reader. Our second contestant is Laura Tran. <laughs> Lauren also loves swimming. She also enjoys reading. And another thing she likes to do is travel. Our third contestant is Mina Uchschneider. <laughs> Mina enjoys skiing. Her other favorite sport is lacrosse. And one of her favorite classes in school is art. And those are our three contestants for this round of WOW! The Catholic TV Challenge. <laughs> All right. Anne, it's great to see you. That's Anne without an E on the end. It's A-N-N. Wonderful to have you. You love reading. I get to read the questions today, though. Yeah. You get to answer them. Lauren, how's everything going? Good. You excited? Yeah. Nervous? No. Good for you. I like it. And you're all dolled out in purple. Love it. And Nina, i got to tell you something. One of my favorite things to do in the world is ski. Yeah. We'll have to go skiing someday. Never know. Maybe I'll bump into you somewhere. But anyway... We're here together on Wild the Catholic TV Challenge. Let's just review the rules. The rules are, keep your hands by your side. Let me ask the question. If you think you know the answer, once I'm done, hit the red button in front of you. Get it right, great. If you don't get it right, well then, that's life, you know. We'll move on. Sound good? All right. Of course, our What About Today is the Passion of Christ. And we have a fantastic studio audience, don't we? Yeah! Everything's in place. Let's set the wild watch. Then I have the first question for you. Listen to the whole question. What kind of anguish did Jesus experience in the garden? And Mental anguish. Exactly correct. <laughs> Mental, spiritual anguish. And sometimes, sometimes it can be worse than physical pain. Okay, talking about the passion of Christ. When Jesus was arrested, what did one of his followers do to the high priest? They cut off his ears. Correct. I meant to say the high priest servant. The high priest servant. And Jesus, of course, did not like that. He objected to it because he is the Prince of Peace. Now, Jesus was scourged. What does scourging mean? Eminem? To be whipped. To be whipped is right. <laughs> I found out during the commercial that Mina's nickname is Eminem. That's why I called her Eminem. All right, Eminem, Lauren, Ann. Who condemned Jesus to be scourged and crucified? Eminem? Pilate. Pilate, that's right. <laughs> Full name, Pontius Pilate. Now, what was Pilate's role in the government? What was his role? Lawrence. That's correct. He was governor or prefect of that Roman province of Judea from, I think, 26 to 36 A.D., for about 10 years. <clears throat> so, Mina, Lauren, Anne, what bad man did Pilate release to calm the crowd? Mina? Robert. That's correct. <laughs> Barabbas, he was an insurrectionist or a rabble-rouser. No rabble rousers here, right? No. Okay, here's one for you. For the three of you, Ian, Lauren, Eminem. How did Pilate show the crowd that he was innocent of Jesus' blood? You know? Wash his hands. That's correct. <laughs> and even to this day, when people want to absolve themselves of something, they say, I wash my hands of that. There was a symbolic action. <clears throat> Okay, to mock Jesus, the soldiers put what on his head? A crown of thorns. A crown of thorns is right. Yeah. Ouch. And I think they were big thorns in that part of the world at that time. Okay, kneeling before him, the soldiers mocked him and called Jesus what? Eminem. That's correct. They called him the king. And with what did they strike him? And a reed. A reed is right. Wow. Not to be confused with Father Reed, of course. 
Oh, 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 we're out of time. Oh, we're out of time. This has been an exciting round, ladies' round, and I want to thank the three of you. But I do want to give to Mina M and M one of the official Wow T-shirts. I have to have happen to have one right here. How's that look? Oh, that looks marvelous. Congratulations and thanks to Mina, Lauren, and Anne. And I want you to stick around because you know what's coming up next. More wow and the final challenge. Don't go away. The group for the final challenge has been decided. We have our three contestants. Which one of these three will be today's Catholic TV Challenge winner? Find out in just a minute. Introducing the Catholic TV iPhone application. Carry your faith. Welcome back to Wild the Catholic TV Challenge. This is the best part of all. This is the final challenge. We have brought back to the podium Aaron, Julia, and Eminem, the winners of the first three rounds, to see how they will do together against one another and I know we don't need to go over the rules because the three of you know the rules, correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, studio audience, should we just move on? Yeah! Let's get to work and set the wild watch. I have the first question for you. What do we mean by our crosses in life? Mina? Our difficulties and sadnesses that we must face. Yes, correct! And it's a good thing to pray for one another, because we all have crosses to bear. And you know what? I'm sick of my questions. I'm going to have that know-it-all dog, Nosy, uh, throw a super challenge at the three of you. Nosy? Okay, Father Reed. Okay, boys and girls. Here is a super challenge. What do we venerate at church on Good Friday? Hmm? m and M? The cross. The cross is right. <laughs> Ecce lenium crucis. Behold the wood of the cross. Speaking of the cross, how many times did Jesus fall under its weight? Julia? Three. Exactly! <laughs> Three times. And who did they pull from the crowd to help him out? Aaron! Simon of Cyrene. Correct! <laughs> It was just a guy in the crowd. And there's a dog out there somewhere who's got a super challenge for you. Nosy, could you throw one by us? Okay, Father Reed. Okay, boys and girls. Here is a super challenge. How long did Jesus remain in the tomb before the resurrection? Hmm? M&M? Three days. Three days is right. <laughs> All right, now, we're talking about the Passion of Christ. That's today's What About. And according to tradition, tradition, who wiped the face of Jesus? m, &M? and Veronica. Veronica wiped the face of Jesus. That's right. Yeah! Here's one. You know what? Go back to that know-it-all dog, Nosy. Hey, Nosy, you get another super challenge for these three young ladies? Okay, Father Reed. Okay, boys and girls. Here is another super challenge. Why did Jesus suffer and die for us? M&M. &M. So we could have everlasting life. Correct! <laughs> All right, Aaron, Julia, Mina. What is the place that Jesus was crucified? Aaron. Um. Oh, ouch! Calvary. 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 You, it was right on the tip of your tongue. I could see it. But what's another name for Calvary? Lena? Golgotha. Correct. That's right. 
It means the place of the skull. We're going to go back to Nosy for one more of those super challenges. Nosy, could you lay it on us? Okay, Father Reed. Okay, boys and girls, here is a super challenge. What is the fifth sorrowful mystery of the rosary? Lena? Crucifixion. That's correct! <laughs> Unbelievable. Now, when Jesus was crucified... Now, We are out of time. I have to say a big, huge, big, huge congratulations to today's winner of the final challenge. That's Eminem, Mina, and Mr. Nelson, don't we have something fishy flying around here for our fortunate friends? Father Reed, the winner of Wow the Catholic TV Challenge, receives an Air Swimmer's Extreme Inflatable Giant Flying Clownfish. This easy-to-fly radio-controlled clownfish is over four feet long and turns your home into an aquarium. The Ear Swimmers Extreme Inflatable Giant Flying Clownfish is fun for the entire family. Just what you always want to turn your house into an aquarium. Nina, Julia, Aaron, thank you so much for being our contestants today. And to all of our contestants, thanks. I'm Father Reed, and thanks to you for joining us. May God bless you always. And we'll see you next time on another edition of WOW! The Catholic TV Challenge!